Stranger, greetings. Might you be interested in the moon? <coughs> You're a long way from Ophir. A long way, and with dangers fraught. But in our homeland, they say, in risk, there is honor. Got a ring to it. Not true in my experience, though. Face plenty of risks. Honor, not so much. Because risk issues from intent. Important is this intent. The long passage I brave to admire the unknown, and bring glory to myself and my liege. The world we must explore, virgin lands discover, new knowledge garner among our brothers than to spread. For is there in life a beauty greater than to admire the new, to stand in awe of the never-ending creation of the world? That mean I've landed in a camp of explorers and philosophers? Indeed. Your customs we come to observe, knowledge to exchange, and goods, naturally, to trade. Your homeland. Be glad to hear some tales about it if you've got the time. If time you have, for of my home I could speak until your ears withered and your legs failed you. What here they call Ophir, in truth, is many diverse polities and peoples. A land it is of vast steppes, mountains forbidding, lakes clear as crystal and wild lands untouched. A land of fallen empires, kingdoms at their peak and tribes that know no monarchs, yet remember in myth a time when the world was young. You call any of these lands home? Yes. A town with towers to make Nilfgaard weep with envy. Of philosophers, doctors, mathematicians, and mages and enclave. But about these last you should, my friend, interrogate. For one among them is he, a runewright. I'll make it a point to talk to him. Quite the mount you've got. Ah, yes. A loyal friend I have in Babietza, and she is wiser than many a man. Countless races we have won together. So, an explorer and a jockey in one. From where I come, small children ride, and not a gathering is by a horse race not crowned. Heard a lot of good things about Ophiri mares, their speed. Care to race? <laughs> Swift as the western winds are our mounts. To prove this would be an honor, so race we must. Let's go! Get here. Be swift! I will see you at full speed! Take your mount to her limits! A fiery mares may be swift as the wind, not quite as fast as my roach, though. I congratulate you. A saddle for your mount, your reward. A contest to commemorate. It will make you a rider even swifter. Thanks. Like your new gear, roach? Ha! Much may be said of a man by how he treats his horse. Our myths tell of a time when love brought together the skies and the steppe, and from their union was born the first mare. Weak were the creatures called men. They fell prey to countless dangers. The mare nursed them, her milk fed them. Strong they grew, and she let them saddle her. Warriors they became, and gave fight to their foes. The myths teach us to respect our horses. Noblest among all beasts. Beautiful story. Thanks for that and the race. Take care now. Go, and in the world glory, 
its never-ending creation be praised. Farewell. Greetings. Greetings, and praise the world in its never-ending creation. Don't take this the wrong way, but honestly, world doesn't deserve much praise. <sighs> Nordlings. <laughs> Disagreeable always. Faces crinkled, soured, ready to quibble to death even a simple greeting. Aha! <laughs> but my tongue now has soured, while you for trade have come. Sadly, I can forge for you nothing. My belongings, tools inclusive, all lost. You a craftsman, or a mage? Your tongue has no word to fit my trade. A scholar and artisan I am. Part craftsman, part mage. Gematria, runecraft, familiar to you are these words? No. Runecraft seems pretty self-explanatory, though. True, though my craft further ventures. Runes and glyphs I first make, then arrange into powerful magic words. Great practical applications as my art. For rune stones properly forged in a sword set so as to form a magic word, the blade more power grant than rune stones set haphazardly. Such words, too, can of glyphs be made and set in armor. Listen, folks sometimes hire me to solve their problems, even retrieved a missing item or two in my time. For me, this you cannot do. I sailed upon a great ship. It sank and my instruments took to the sea's dark depths. Buying replacements not an option? Of my own design they were, specially forged. A fortune it cost to make them. And all the coin that with me I had brought lies now in the murky abyss with my instruments. Seems your skills could be useful to me. Given that, I'd be happy to help you out. What do you say I get you the coin you need? Could pay me back in runes and glyphs. Is it certain your offer? A great sum I require. Tools of great expense I need to make even the simplest glyph. I make no mention of the more advanced or master crafted. Rest easy. Got a feeling this will be a good investment. Can't help but wonder what brings you to our lands. A simple thing. For knowledge, a thirst. All he could, my mentor had taught me. The tongues of our lands I'd learned, of all our plants and animals I know the names. Risk that long a journey to learn new words? A life of plenty I would have lived at home, for the beauty and import of my art are respected. But such a life would be unfulfilled. Great and diverse is the world, for a pace continues its creation. A riddle it is, which through symbols speaks. The world's tongue to learn, I wish. The signs by which it speaks, to discover, their syntax to master. Through this, to learn the principles of creation. The way you talk about your art, sound more like a man of faith than scholarship. Faith and scholarship for you lie in conflict. Yet in my land, holy men are scholars. Wisdom, their source of esteem. The Afiri believe in any gods? From region to region this varies. Raised I was to believe in one god, the world. <laughs> Symbols are God's speech. To study his words is to draw nearer to him. Symbols, meaning runes and glyphs. Mere signs are these. An attempt by men imperfect to describe the world. Yet a magic to them there is, and from God, all magic issues. When runes I create, when into words I arrange them, this is prayer. And when into swords I enchant them, that is my benediction. 
Got some coin on me. This enough? Uh, start it is. Costly craft. Yet the costs do not end with coin. Need I shall also a jade stone of size substantial. Hmm. See what I can do. to find some small jade deposits northeast of Novigrad. Ought to try my luck there. It is to see you again. Quite the pleasure. What did you bring from Ophir? Mind if I have a look? Our craftsman's goods. You see worth in them? Quite a bit, I'd say. Ah, these are nothing compared to what I could offer had I not lost my prize diagrams. How'd you lose them? To thieves. In our travels, I and my companions surprise attacked by local ruffians were. The diagrams, their loss. I bemoan not so much as I do one of my comrades. Killed in the violence. See if I can't find your diagrams. Recover them for you. These instructions... When followed, produce items worthy of a king. Tell me where you were attacked, remember? A crossroads, not far. Forgive me. For this area, I know poorly. The detailed directions I cannot provide. North of the spot stood a residence, uh, near ruin. Should be able to find it. Take care now. Go, and in the world glory, its never-ending creation be praised. Farewell. Slower. Might want to look around some. <clears throat> I don't want anything to do with you. Bloody fight looks like. Folk in the tavern didn't stand a chance. Tracks lead north. So Buckwheat Miller, they said. It'll pay off, they said. Ah, uh, what? Trail's gone cold. Hmm. Need to look around. See if I can pick it up again. Someone was wounded. Started bleeding heavily. Wonder what this means. Hmm. Took a traveler hostage, I guess. Blood trails the hostages. Must have been a burden if they left him here to die. Lost the trail. Gotta look around for something else. Found it. Leads this way. Trail ends here. Hmm. Dirt and ground cover concealing a hatch. 
Secret passageway. Which is me, brothers! Send this. We're 
Never learn. Slow now. Go, go.
much jade here. Need to keep looking. Come on.
faster. It is to see you again. Quite the pleasure. Managed to recover all your diagrams. Ah, want to be relied on. This I knew. You restore the faith I might have in men. For I've now received aid from a stranger in even this land most barbarous. Don't mention it, really. As agreed, I shall draft your duplicates, though it may take a day. Be so kind as to return tomorrow. Your reward I will have for you. All right. Tomorrow, then. Made good use of my coin by the look of things. The return to my craft. Know you not the pleasure it brings. I thank you. Don't mention it. How's the work going? Several lesser runes I forged already. Practice, you see. <laughs> Yet I sadden in thinking the tools and ingredients I possess are not fit to create better. Got lucky. Found you some jade. Here. Thank you, I do. If you to gaze wish at my handiwork, to do so I invite you. Brought you more coin. Put it towards better equipment. Thanks in the thousands. Too kind you are to me, truly. Your work's worth the coin. Hard at work. Good to see. Ah, yes. Commissioned have I tools, a fitting set from Novigrad crafters. Many arms and legs they charged, but renew my work in earnest I now can. New runes, glyphs, and diagrams created I have, an eye you should cast. Find one to your liking, perchance. So, nothing holding you back now. From making master-crafted runes, you mean? Much more coin I will need to do so, sadly. Northern Realms, like it here so far? Oh yes. Never have I seen woodland so expansive, or skies with such colors brushed. Nordlings, however, peculiar they are. Tight-lipped, closed within. Hmm. And bandits the high roads riddle. But on the horrid conflict, this I blame. Wouldn't mind a glance at what you got. Thanks. So long. It is to see you again. Quite the pleasure. The diagrams. They're duplicates. Ready? In fact, yes. They are yours to take with my gratitude. Thanks. Farewell to you. <laughs>